Hello and welcome to episode 21 of Rhythm and Rudiments. This is a 2 3 Afro Clave in 6 called Samba in 3 against 4. The 3 against 4 is in the feet and <clears throat> the threes are doubled. That's the feet pattern. Gang, 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 gang. That's the bell part. And bat, 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 bat. That's the left hand part, which I'll be playing either on the snare drum or the wood block. And the bell part, I might be playing it on the ride cymbal or the bell. This one's a bit faster. I have it set to 157 beats per minute. And because this is the most difficult one in the book so far, at least for me, again, I will be doing only the seven essential rudiments for now. I'm just going to turn up the backing track and then I'll get started.
So as you can probably see, I was having some difficulty with this one still, particularly coming out of the drag back to the groove, or particularly how my hands are shaking, particularly um, trying to change the dynamics. At the end, I was trying to have a four TCMO with the cymbal crash on the first, or I think of this, the end of six, almost as the phrase starting there sort of with the pickup note so i was crashing on the end of six or attempting to and i've said this before but i'll say it again that i'm frequently surprised by how how difficult it is just to switch orchestration so even even something as simple as switching from the big wood block to the little wood block it kind of messes me up sometimes let me know if you have the same thing or just like uh, or taking any of the rudiments around the kit rather than just playing them on the snare drum, just moving them from the tom to the cymbal, hi-hat, crash, ride, bell. Just moving the same sticking around is much more difficult than staying on the same drum. 
at least for me. It was the same with uh, just trying to add an accent on beat one on the bass drum, or an accent on beat six on the snare drum, or an accent on the and a six on the cymbal, even if it's on the same ride cymbal. Makes it a lot more difficult, but it also makes it a lot more interesting if you can get it down. So, uh, one other thing I forgot to mention is that I have it set, which th again, this makes it more difficult too, is that I have it slightly swung. So hopefully you could hear that too, like with the single stroke roll. The, all the ands are later than written. Not quite a triplet eighth note. I have it set to, in logic, the upbeats are 80, whatever they're called, late. 80 out of 240, 161 would be a triplet eighth note, I think. Yeah, so it's halfway to a triplet eighth note, which is what most people learn at first when they're learning swing. So it's between an even eighth note and a triplet eighth note, which to me, I think feels right, but it's also difficult to do it correctly. So bear with me with this work in progress. I hope you keep listening. Tune in, and uh, I promise when we get to the four chapter, I will do more rudiments because the first of the four chapter is much easier than the end of the sixth chapter. So I'm almost halfway through the book, which is all in six. This is the most difficult one so far. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. So please join me again. Thanks for listening and watching. See you next time. Bye.